So welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 Maths and in this video we'll be doing an AQA GCSE Maths Foundation topic test around probability 1. Now as always there'll be a copy of the test paper for you to download and have an attempt at either before watch this video or while watching this video by clicking on the link in the description. Now just a little quick reminder just to know that all of these questions are deemed to be non-calculated so it's really important that you do show full working out and obviously read the questions carefully and simplify your probabilities where possible. So let's get started on the first question. So the first question says that in a raffle there is one winning ticket. In total there are 360 tickets are sold. Rachel buys 12 tickets. What is the probability that she buys the winning ticket? And give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form. So let's get started on this question. So then she's bought 12 out of 360. So what we need to do is just simplify this. So if we just divide by 2, that then becomes 6 over 180, which then becomes 3 over 90, which then becomes 1 over 30. So that there is our simplified answer. Moving on to question 1b, it says that how many tickets should Zayn buy to have a 1 in 90 chance of winning so here all we need to do is do 1 over 90 so the probability multiplied by the total number of tickets so that then becomes 360 divided by 90 which then gives us an answer of 4 and again what I could just easily have done is just cancel the zeros and 9 divided or 36 divided by 9 is 4 Moving on to question two, it says that in a game, a player spins the wheel. The wheel is fair. What is the probability that the player scores an even number greater than two? So looking at this, the greater number than greater than two is four, six and eight. So there are three numbers out of a possible eight. It then says what's the probability of a prime number? So if I just circle the prime number, so that's two, three, five and seven. So that becomes 4 over 8, which is a half. And then with 2c, it says which of these is a square number. Well, the only two square numbers we've got is 1 and 4. So that's going to be 2 out of 8, which is a quarter. Then says a number that is a factor of 24. So the factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. And there are 6 numbers out of 8 which simplifies to be three quarters. Moving on to question three, it says that there are 40 counters in a bag. Three eighths of the counters are yellow. One fifth of the counters is red and the rest of the counters is blue. One counter is chosen at random. Work out the probability that the counter is blue. So for this, what we need to do is incorporate a bit of fractions of amounts. So looking at the yellow counters, we've got three eighths. So we want to work out three eighths of 40. And how do we do that? Well, we do 40 divided by eight multiplied by three. Well, 40 divided by eight is five and five times three is 15. So there are 15 yellow counters. The next one then says that there are one fifth. So we want to work out one fifth of 40. So that's going to be 40 divided by 5 multiplied by 1, which is 8. And it says the rest are blue. So to work out the rest, I've got to do 40 minus 15 minus 8, which gives me an answer of 17. So the probability is going to be 17 over 40. Then moving on to question 4, it says that a class of 30 students are asked about their favorite hobby. The results are shown in the table. Some of the values are missing. A student is chosen at random. Work out the probability that the student is. Now, before we even get started, let's start by working out what these missing values are. So if the number of girls are two and there are 10 people who chose football, that means that this is gonna be eight. And if nine people chose watching TV and five of them are boys, then the girls are gonna be four. So it then says, a boy is, uh, well, work out probability that boy whose uh, favourite hobby is football. Well, then that's going to be 8 over the total, which is 30. And we can simplify that fraction as 4 over 15. Now, I would say where the two marks come from is one by working out the missing numbers being 8, writing it as a probability, and then obviously then going on to simplify it. 
For 4B, it says that a girl whose favorite hobby is not reading. Well, not reading is going to be 12 because there are take away one. So there's one girl who likes reading and 12 in total. So that's going to be 11. So the answer then is going to be 11 over 30. And it's that not part that's really important that you do read carefully. So moving on to our last question, it says that a teacher chooses a student at random from the class and it is a boy. Work out the probability that his favorite hobby is either watching TV or playing computer games. Give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form. So we know that it's definitely a boy. So now our new total then becomes 18. So how many of those 18 boys like watching TV or playing a computer game? So for this, playing a computer is three and uh, watching TV is five. So it's going to be eight out of 18. So I do eight over 18. And I can then simplify that by writing it as four over nine. And there we go.